you know from A Course in Miracles that there's, in the Manual for Teachers, the stages of the development of trust. And I believe it's the second stage. It will seem as if, Jesus says, it will seem as if things are being taken away from you. This is what happens in the second stage of the development of trust. Because you value the things of this world, somewhere in your mind when you decide it's time to wake up, somewhere in your mind when you decide to answer the call of the voice for God, instead of clinging to playing these tiny little characters over and over and over again, Somewhere, when you decide to turn towards the Spirit, it will seem as if things are being taken away from you. And Jesus is telling us, it's not really what's happening, it's just that your mind is starting to devalue the things of this world. That's why they seem to be leaving. It's not, the ego will scream bloody murder, loss, oh, woe is me, what do I have to sacrifice now? Are you going to take it all from me? You know, the ego is kicking and fighting and screaming about everything that it thinks it has, which it invented. So it thinks it has it. It thinks it controls it. It thinks it possesses it. It thinks it makes it happy. It thinks it will be feel totally deserted. I can't live if living is without you. I can't give, I can't give anymore. You know, it's going to cry and moan and, and just go on and on and on and on about how woe is me. And actually the mind is just devaluing the world. That's why things seem to be going bye-bye. It could be persons, it could be things, it could be houses, it could be countries, it could be children, it could be anything. They're all part of the images and, and it will seem as if things are being taken away. But... But that's just the second stage of the development of trust. So we've had that happen. You ever had that happen with friends? <laughs> really good friends, close friends, and then all of a sudden, like they're scooped up and you don't ever hear from them again. That happens. And it's, it seems perplexing to the ego. But again, it's just that certain things are being devalued in the mind and it's making way for more to come. What's is there a saying something about when God closes a door, He always opens a window. There's always a window of opportunity, a window of mighty companions, a window of, of more symbols to take you higher and higher, to lift you up where you truly belong, where you truly are in reality. That's what's happening. There's no loss involved. We never lose anything, actually. It's just these shifting symbols that are taking us higher and higher and higher, like an ascending, almost like an ascending staircase that's just taking you higher and higher in awareness. And there's really no loss involved at all. That's just an ego interpretation.